Hey, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, a couple of things. There's not a lot to go over today. I mean, we have a lot of stuff going on today, but um, doing payroll yesterday, just for those of you who are going to be watching this video because the rest of you aren't here. Um, truck stock, still. I, I got zero truck stock from anybody during payroll. That means nobody used one thing out of their truck the entire week last week, which I kind of find hard to believe. So that's a purchase order. I still need to see a sheet. I need to see that on everybody's you know, payroll when you turn it in. So please make sure you're filling that out. Whatever you use, miscellaneous parts, just put me, there's a, there's a list on, every one of you should have a list, and if you don't have a, if you have a question on the price, you know, put a question mark and I'll, I'll look it up, it's not a big deal. But we've got to have, start taking that more serious because it's just costing the company money, we can't afford it. So we need it to be uh, written up and put in your payroll along with your invoices. Um, so, <clears throat> jobs that are um, on the board, when you guys are sent out to, to jobs on the board, I want to make sure, because as much as I'm working with dispatch and trying to get them to do things, there's misunderstandings. I've already had a couple of conversations and it's going to probably get more and more intense here soon. But <clears throat> basically, if you guys get on, are assigned to a job, just make sure that, that, let's say for an example that, and this is, because this happens quite often, so Kevin goes and sells a couple of jobs, two, three jobs, whatever. He assigns Ryan to one, Nick to one, and Oscar, you're going on one, whatever the case is. Okay, so the guys that are the technicians, not the helpers necessarily, but the guys that are the technicians who go in, they get dispatched to the job. You guys can go into the job and you can see pretty much what you're supposed to be doing, right? So go into the job, when you go into the job, I want you to make sure that there's tasks there, okay? In particular, on Ben Guard, because on Ben Guard, right now, you know, we end up having one job, and then we have another job, and another job, and another job, right? So that can be a project, but you need to make sure that you're assigned to the job that is what you're going to do. So if you're told by Kevin, you're going to go install an air conditioning system, okay? Oh, and by the way, Nick, you're going to go and do some angle stops, whatever the case is. Make sure that's the job you're assigned to, okay? Because what happens is dispatch says sees Bengard and they assign people to it based on what they think they're hearing or whatever the case is. And now we've got Nick un installing an HVAC system, and I've got you doing angle stops, or you're on an HPC job that has nothing to do with either one of those, and there's no task. So when you go into the job, you guys should be able to see. And I'm going to show you just a prime example. And this is how this one happened, but <clears throat> task. Okay, single zone, mini split, and it talks about all the stuff that's happening, and it has a price, 12000 bucks. That's the job that this person should be on, right? <clears throat> but if you go into Tom Bingard's name, because he's a pretty darn good client, obviously, <clears throat> you know, you can see um, here's, here's the job that, was originally sold with the HPC, $1,260, and that's where the estimate was written. <clears throat> so if you just were to go in there and look on there and say, oh, there, there's the estimate, I see it's sold. Well, this isn't the job. It's a do totally different job number. That was the HPC job, which is now actually closed. But what happened is, it gets reassigned to all the people who are going out there today, but there's no task on there. If you go into the task, that, well, there is a task, but it's the HPC task, and it's already been collected, the work's already been done. As you can see, task, Home Protection Club, 1261, right? Each additional one, and it's already been paid. So if you get put on a job that's already been paid, it's most likely another job you're supposed to be on. Let somebody know, let me know. Because it causes problems when we're like, I'm going in, because I look on every day, I'm trying to see what's going on throughout the day. So if Kevin goes out to a job and he sells it, you know, is there an estimate there? Is there, um, you know, w w what's going on there? So if you're, if you're basically on a job that is not what you're supposed to be on, 
it makes it harder when I'm, especially when I'm doing payroll and I'm trying to figure out what purchase orders go on which job and so on and so on. Because if you leave that up there and now you go get purchase orders, you go get your purchase orders, you go get your purchase orders, someone's going to put them on that job. So now I got purchase orders on a job that's already been paid out, right? Job's already done and it's only HPCs and I'm not charging that, that's not going to anybody. So, you know, it's basically we went out and doing work already as we're doing the HPCs for free and now we're going to add materials onto a job that it shouldn't be on or angle stops onto an HVAC job or vice versa, right? So you gotta make sure you're on the right job. So that's all I'm asking you guys to do is when you get out there, if you see something wrong, let me know. Um, I am looking at them, but that's what I was looking at yesterday thinking, okay, well, maybe it's just not converted yet. Maybe it's gonna be on the same job. And I'm like, well, but wait a second, we got paid here, 1200 bucks. That's the HPC job, right? what happened there? So there was a miscommunication or a misunderstanding, however it is, it doesn't matter. You guys just need to go in, if you're assigned to a job, just make sure you have the task, you know you're on the right job. Because there's a lot of these little things that come up, because Kevin's selling you know, multiple things, types of jobs, to the same people. So Ben Guard's one of them, there's other ones that are just the same way. They're doing, we're doing plumbing and HVAC stuff. But I want to make sure it's separated. Because I also saw that there's a, there's supposed to be some angle stops that are being done with Ben Guard, which is a whole separate thing, right? Already got done. Okay. There's another one. So that's, there's another one, you know, Jeez, so, so we're doing the work, <laughs> we're doing the work, but you know, it's like, okay, so we're, when are you going to there next? <laughs> I'll be there today. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the question is on that one, and I can ask Kevin here since he's here. Okay. So I go into Vanguard, all right, and I can go into Vanguard's name and now I'm going to say, okay, so, uh, here's one for hose bib. Is that the one for the angle stops? It should or be is it the one that's 1352? Okay, angle stop. 1352. Okay, so in here, that's the only an estimate. That's not ever. That's never been sold. Yeah, he he told me to go ahead and do the work. Um, I what I did was I put together an estimate for 56 of them, and he's like he's looking at me. He goes 56, and I go I said you got a big house. He's like. Some of those have already been replaced. I go, they all look like crap to me. He goes, well, just do the ones that you think absolutely needed. So I said, okay. And then he's been literally, he had three funerals this weekend. He is not a pastor. And then yesterday he told me his aunt died. Wow. Yeah, he's just, like, it's coming at him. So I'm kind of like, I'm getting things done that they already agreed to do. But I'm just, I kind of was backing off. So, you know, that's why I didn't get things signed. You know, he was on his way to a funeral. And you could see it in his face. And this wasn't time to say, I need you to sign here. You know, so I kind of felt that comfort level with him already. And I just let it go. But we had, <coughs> we, also, we also did another job there. It doesn't even show up yet. I put in another sink um, that, you know, that I got to charge him for. But, um so anyway, yeah, and, and I still haven't even, we started the, the, the uh, deal yesterday on the big job. I got a verbal from them, but I haven't got a signed contract because we didn't, we weren't ready yet to put all that in, to get information together. So now I emailed him those <laughs> estimates. I told him I need signatures and okays and I need okay. to run your card and I, you know, this and that. And I'm just hoping we get that today because he's going to Hawaii on Thursday. So, right. Yeah, I got. I got so, so for all of you guys, you can't do that. Okay. <laughs> none of us can. I'm do just that. gonna say none of you can do that. I mean, I, I, I can try to control Kevin somewhat, but none that. of you guys can do that because it, I mean, I'm telling you, we just ask Mike. Ask Mike. I was already talked to. Yeah. I had a conversation with him yesterday. Ten times. Exactly what happened. Oh, but, you know, the, the guy wants this done, this stuff done, da 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 I'll get him the numbers later. We're just going to get it done because we're trying to get the job done. It's already been taking a long time. Well, I already got the belt, guys. If you guys want to work for, for if you guys want to work for 15 bucks an hour, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Because if the customer doesn't pay, which he didn't, he paid a very small part of it for whatever reasons he can make up. Oh, well, just took too long. You guys did this. You promised me this. Promised me that. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I'm, you know, I'm not paying for all that. Whatever the reasons are. We don't get paid. We don't have a signature. We have nowhere to stand. Okay. Now I, I understand Vanguard's got money, and Kevin. Kevin wants to have a relationship <laughs> with him. That's Kevin. It's his company. I'm not going to say it, you know that's, that's <coughs> to him. But I'm trying to encourage you guys because we need to get to make sure we're getting every nickel in, every dime in that we're supposed to get in on a timely manner. Um, so 
I mean, I, I didn't know about the sink, but I saw the angle stops, and I go, well, we already did angle stop, huh? <laughs> Guess what? There, there's an estimate in there, but there's no signatures, there's no task, there's, there's nothing. So we've got to make sure these things are done, and you're on the right job. So if you're on a job for angle stops, don't just, you know, you don't want where's the task? On at least, at least, at least <laughs> even without signatures, we have it, you know, we know that's what we're charging, it's in there. We can always go back and get signatures if Kevin says, okay, I'll get the signatures later, that's fine. But make sure there's a task and you're on the right job. That's what, I, what I'm trying to, you know, hit home right now. Is we, we gotta, you got to make sure you're on a job that's the right job, especially for the purchase orders. Because I saw um, a purchase order on another job, and it said angle stops, but it wasn't for the angle stops job, and it had zero. So someone tried to create a PO, but they, they realized probably that, oh, guess what, wrong job. <laughs> so now it says zero. So... so Angle stops are already bought. Angle stops, so they, someone said, I need a purchase order. So they gave them one. And guess what? Wrong job. So now I got to find that invoice and make sure it goes on the right job once the right job is actually a job. Because right now it's still an estimate. So that kind of stuff, I, I, and I get you guys get out there, you get busy, all of that stuff. We've got to do this right. I mean, it's, it's imperative. Because if not, I'm going to end up paying somebody on an angle stop job that has no parts on it. So we're, now we're overpaying them. And where's the job? I don't even see the job. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's just really makes it hard. Okay? Oh, I had one question. Um, just one? Uh, at least so far. For yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Um, mm -hmm. On Friday I had a duct job, and uh, we had some extra ducts. One, one of them was completely unused. And basically I put, you know, I put it in there because I knew I was doing a duct job on you know, yesterday. And so I put it in there and figured we, we'll reuse as much as we can. Um, on, on yesterday morning, I found out that one of them had been, the one that was unused was actually ended up getting returned, which I don't mind it getting returned. But, so now, at least from the tech side, it's basically the opposite of what you were just pointing out, where now I've been charged for something that wasn't paid for. Okay. So how do I undo that? What I, like, what's the easiest way to, to the, the easiest that way project? to do that is if whoever returned it, uh -huh. first of all, because whoever returned it should have a receipt that has a yeah. negative dollar amount, yeah. and that's supposed to go on, it's a negative purchase order. So when you put a purchase order in that job, now if the job's already closed and you already paid on that job, for an example, say, hey, Alan, I have this return that went on this job last week. Okay. What I'll do is I'll add that into this week's on another mm -hmm. job. It doesn't matter. I just put it on, a, I don't even put it on a job. Perfect. That's exactly what I was asking. And about. then you, you get, you get that service volume through. back. It's yeah. literally a, a, or a 10 inch duct that yeah. got returned and I ended up picking it up yesterday morning and going, yeah, 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 need, need it. Yeah. So that's it. I mean, if, if, if something like that happens, I prefer that you guys try to return your stuff before you close your jobs out yeah. or before that week. Right. So if you do a job this week to say before Saturday or whatever it is, you return your stuff, you get your invoice, you turn that in with your stuff, because that way I can put it in. You can say, hey, put a little sticky on there. Can you please put this credit in a purchase order? I'll put it in there. It'll make it'll fix everything. If you do miss something like that, someone ends up turning it in, just all you got to do is get the receipt, I'll put it on the next week and say, okay, what, you already paid for it this week, I'm going to give it back to you this week. I mean, it's not a big deal. Cool. Okay. Um, and I, speaking of that again, and this is for Sarah, who's not here at the moment, because I've already talked to her about it, but I'm just going to reiterate to everybody else. If Kevin sells a job, okay, and he says, um, hey, you know, I'm going to give you the service volume on the job. And you guys are splitting the service volume. It doesn't matter who's getting it or who's splitting it or whatever. And you go and buy parts. And you buy extra parts. Okay? Make sure you guys just don't keep those parts yourselves. If Kevin sells the job and it's his job and you're just basically splitting something, make sure you turn in those extra parts or return them so it goes back on the job. Because it's going to affect the company too. We don't want you guys just collecting parts all, all week long or all year long collecting parts and then now you, don't, now you have free parts for your next jobs that you sold, right? So I don't want that to happen. So please turn in your parts that don't belong to you, the bag of parts you have, okay? Um, okay, collections. Guys, I'm not going to pay you on something if you don't collect on it. If it's an AR, a commercial account, and, and it's AR, we have, we have terms with them in whatever way, there's a few of those, that's one thing. I'll pay you on that because that's we decided to give them terms. We'll deal with that. But if you're going to go out and do a jetting job or do some other type of work, 
and you haven't collected, oh, well, the guy's a fireman, and he's da 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 and um, whatever the case is, <laughs> then you can put your hours on your timesheets that you worked, but you haven't been collected yet. So the next week when you do get collected, you can put that on your, you know, now there's zero hours because you already got, the hours have already been accounted for the week before, but now you have the dollars, right, and your costs and all that, so that I'll pay you on that. But um, what's happening is people are writing on their timesheets, you know, the job that they did, and here's the total, but they haven't collected. Well, I'm not going to pay you until it's collected. So that's what commission's about. I mean, I don't get paid, you don't get paid. That's how it kind of works. So you can't go, you know, I, there's a couple of jobs, a couple of people have done that. They have a couple of jobs sitting there saying that they, and they're expecting a bigger check. And it's like, well, are you going to collect it? Because if you don't collect it, I'm not, I, we don't have a collection service that's going to go driving around collecting checks for you. You know, so that's the deal. You guys need to make arrangements with your customers sometime in the process, okay, I plan on being done by this day. Um, are you going to be around or how can we arrange it so I can make sure we can arrange payment and we can walk through everything, whatever the case is, right? Let me walk you through, show you what I've done, make sure you're happy with it, I can collect payment. Because <clears throat> we, we don't want to have people telling us when they're going to pay us. Oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get you. The 32nd. Yeah, I'll get you. <laughs> on the 32nd. I'm more than glad to get you. pay you Tuesday for a burger today, right? I mean, come on. All right, so we got we got to be really careful on that because again, guys, we don't we don't have excess money sitting around right now. We're spending everything we have on our marketing stuff. We're trying to get that going, and the longer it takes us to get the money in, the longer it takes us to pay those bills and get everything, keep everything moving in the direction we want it to go. All right, all right. Who's got Who's got anything else? Who's got any questions, comments? Um, just on Ben Guard, whoever's there. Um, if he's there, because he's in and out, he literally has no schedule. He just comes and goes. Um, see if you can get a signature. Um, For the mini split? <clears throat> yeah. Or everything. <laughs> yeah, or anything that's missing a signature. I mean, you know, but. And, I mean, if you want, and guys, here, here's the thing with signatures, okay? I already emailed. He them. already emails them, right? So if he emailed them, say, hey, if you can print out your, you know, print out your invoices from email, send them, and I'll bring them into the office if that's the case, or you can go on your iPad because there may be a job that you can't get into. Ben Guard has this job. If you're assigned to that job, you can get into that one. But maybe he's got the angle stop one that has been sent to him. Whatever, we can always just have him print them, sign them. We'll bring them in. I'll scan them in. No big deal. Okay. I mean, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. But we got to make sure we get signatures one way or another. Because it's like I said, and make sure for those of you who didn't watch this in the beginning that you are on the job you're supposed to be on at all times, with the tasks in there and so on, not in the wrong job. Okay, that's all I have. Anything else, Kevin? All right, so we got a pretty pretty busy day with uh, Ben Guard anyway. Um, so let's get out there and get it done. Thanks, Kevin. Uh -huh.